Welcome back, mercenaries, to another In the Black tutorial. This one all about avoiding incoming missiles. At first glance, missiles do seem to be a rather imposing weapon. Uh, they can accelerate faster than you. They do cause a lot more damage. Destroyed. And they can track you using your heat signature. You are targeted. But they do have their own flaws that can be exploited if you intend to receive payment at the end of your contract. First off, missiles cannot change the direction they're going quickly due to their own speed. This can be exploited by going in a different direction perpendicular to their flight path. Uh, what this means is that if a missile is coming straight for you, accelerating your ship up, down, left or right at about a 90 degree angle to the missile's flight path will be sharp enough to where the missile will not be able to follow and it will overshoot. However, keep in mind that uh, an opponent or an enemy can predict this movement and most likely will have another missile ready to fire after you dodge the first one. Another tactic you can do to stop a missile from hitting you is putting something in between you and the missile. Um, these can be any solid object such as space stations, satellites, or as the footage you're seeing right now shows, asteroids. If you have something in between you and the missile, more often than not, the missile's gonna explode before it can reach you. But make sure to stick close to this object if the enemy has more than a couple of missiles headed your way. The last main way I have for you to be able to stop missiles from hitting your ship is having some sort of gimbaled fast firing weapon attached, such as the Mag Owl lasers, or in my personal preference, the GSU series Gatling guns. You can then activate SeaWiz by pressing V on your keyboard while you're selecting uh, either of these weapons, and this will allow them to fire automatically at the closest targets, including missiles. Unfortunately, this is not a 100% uh, effective method, but if the enemy has fired multiple missiles at you, it can be used to slow down the first couple of volleys so that you can maybe go and take advantage of the other two methods I already listed. The three methods I just highlighted are the most effective ways to kind of directly combat missiles, but there are a few other things that I think you should know that could help you when you're battling an enemy who is a little missile happy. Uh, first, missiles do have a maximum range they can fly before uh, they run out of fuel. Uh, so you can, you can outmaneuver them, um, but it's probably better to do the perpendicular maneuver rather than trying to outright uh, outfly them because more often than that, that's not going to end well for you. Number two is that missiles are actually very expensive to restock and well they're kind of expensive to use so if the enemy you're going up against values their money they won't be firing a lot of missiles at you just probably one or two and those can be relatively easily be dodged or taken out before they can actually do any damage and one last little bit of information that i think is probably kind of important is your heat signature by not using weapons or keeping your thrusters like low, not using them too much is a good way to not be targeted. And so then you can maybe get yourself in a position to where you can shoot the enemy before they can launch their payload of heat seeking problems, you know. And that's all there is for this tutorial for today. Uh, hopefully the knowledge in this video is enough for you to avoid becoming a cloud of space debris, at least for a little while longer. We do appreciate you watching. If you wish to keep up to date with Impeller Studios and In the Black, you can join the mailing list for both corresponding websites down below. There we also have a link to our Discord where you can talk about the hard science fiction of In the Black, organize matches between yourself and other players, and even chat with members of the development team from time to time. Thanks for watching, mercenaries. Have a good day.